Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lawn Chair Mechanic. Today, we're going to be working on a camper. We're getting ready to take a little camping trip here in a couple weeks. And um, my slide out has been leaking around the edges and getting the carpet all wet around the, the couch here. What it is, is the rubber seal around the slide out was all dry rotted and... Uh, needed to be replaced so I ordered some online it's not exactly the same size as the old one but it uh, it'll work so that's what we're gonna work on today and I'm gonna take you a little tour in this camper and show you what uh, what she looks like here we go this is a 30 foot Salem got the one slide out here let me step back here Got the one slide out for the couch and the dinette set. But right here is where the, the water was coming in around the edges here. Getting the carpeting all wet. And uh, it's the seal on the outside of the camper that was all dry rotted. So I'll show you that here in a minute. But you, as you can tell the wife's been uh, doing some decorating here. She's getting ready for this camping trip. And here, back in the back, we have a bunk beds. If you got kids, that's a great uh, addition to your camper. My kids are pretty much growing up, but uh, I have an 18-year-old. Eight, I got a 20-year-old daughter. Plus my boy's girlfriend's going with us this year, so... She'll, they'll all three be sleeping back here. Plus they got the little dinette back here for them. Down there in the back is the, the breaker box. Got some closet space for them here. Actually have a TV set up back here if you want to get a TV for the kids. But we never did do that. One TV is enough. Come back here. This is the bathroom. The wife's decorated it already. Got the new shower curtain up. Looks pretty nice. Little happy camper sign there hanging on the wall. Got a nice size fridge here. There's a microwave and a range. Wife's got it all decked out in beach stuff, so we're heading to the beach this year, but we're not taking a camper, but back in around July we're heading to the beach. But we're going camping here in a couple weeks over to uh the old man's cave in Ohio. I don't know if anyone's ever been there before, but it is a beautiful place to go. Here's our TV. Got our DVD player and we play CDs and whatnot in there. Here's the master bedroom. Got the starfish and seashells on it, all decorated back here too. But one addition here we did do this year is for our bulldog. We put a set of steps in right here. We bought these from Chewy.com. That way he can just walk right up the steps into the bed. Before we had to kind of lift him up in there. He's <laughs> he weighs like 80 pounds, so big boy. Hopefully he'll use them steps. He won't break a leg trying to jump down out of there. All right, let's go out to the outside and I'll show you this slide out. Okay, it's a pretty nice day out here today. 
supposed to get rain later on, but go around here to the side. Here we go. This is what I'm replacing here. I'm replacing this channel right here. I'm not replacing the actual uh, weather strip. It's like a uh, squeegee type deal when your slide out goes in and out. Because it's not bad. This is this part's good. What it is, I'm replacing this. But when you close the slide out, it pushes against that and seals it. So that's what we're replacing. All it does is slide up on this channel. I'm gonna glue it at the top just so it don't keep sliding down. But this side's already done. That's brand new. Here's the one I took off, as you can tell. Right here on the ground here. Look how dry rotted this was. It's just no wonder it was leaking. The only thing is if you can see that the new one I got is not exactly as high as this one is this way. It's just a little bit more narrow, but this part that the goes on the slide is exactly the same so that's really all that matters if we come over here to the other side the other side is still good so I'm not going to change it it's in still in good condition I got 30 foot of this stuff so I can just store it somewhere and save it for later in case I ever need it. What I got to change today is the top piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide this slide in to about six inches from touching the trailer. And then I'm going to put a ladder up and try to slide that top piece off and put a new piece on. So here we go. Let's do it. Okay, I got the slide out, put in about six inches from the edge there. Now we're going to put this ladder up and go up there and look at this. See what it looks like. Now, well, as you can see, The actual slide that slides on this is totally gone. There's nothing left. No wonder this thing was leaking. What I'm going to have to do is uh, it's got a couple screws in it. I'll take them screws out and this piece here should slide right off of this channel and we can just slide the new one right back on it looks pretty simple look at that that's the old piece Okay, it was kind of hard to hold this camera in one hand and slide that on with the other, so I went ahead and put it on. 
there she is all put on there it's easy to slide on now all I got to do is uh, secure it on both ends and we'll be set to go simple job easy fix cost me about $80 for 30 feet of it online um, this stuff dry rots real quick so they sell spray you can put on it and I used up all my spray and evidently it didn't uh, work all that well so the sun beats down on this stuff and it just destroys it not a whole lot you can do about it but 80 bucks ain't too expensive so I didn't change this side like I said it's still good so down there on the ground I got probably 15 feet left of it in case another piece goes bad later on really easy to cut I just use a pair of scissors cut it the length and that was it all right I'm gonna put a couple screws in this and we're gonna call it a day thank you thanks for watching guys